Guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. Guys, this is the second part of file uploaded PHP. So guys, in this video, we will apply conditions to file upload conditions like the file size and the file extension. So for that, we need to create some more variables. So first variable I will create is file size and so that I will write file, oh, files and my file and the second element will be size means if you want to check the file size then you need to create a new variable and I will echo it out means let's check the what is the file size which we are going to upload so suppose I'm going to upload this file and click on upload you will see this is the file size and uh, this variable will be used to check the file size now we will cre we need one more variable to check the file extension suppose guys if I print this means we need to check the what is the extension of the file whether it's a jpg file png file and if a person is uploading some other file then we need we can rest restrict that person we can restrict that that person so i click on upload so you can see financing options to dot png so this is the file extension so we need to get this extension so for that we will create a new variable f f underscore extension and I will use export function to get the extension so let uh, uh, guys I have already created a tutorial on uh, export function if you want to check that tutorial you can go to my videos and you can check that otherwise you can check uh, this small definition the export function breaks a string into an array the separator parameter cannot be en empty means it will break a string into an array so right now suppose this is a string and we need to break it inside uh, into an array and we need to take the last element of an array so so this is the string means uh, f name let's echo it out let's see what happens Oops, export function contains two parameters. So the first parameter will be separator. Means how you can separate, means which separator you want to use this to separate the string into arrays. So in the file name, there is a dot, means file name dot png. So we need to use the dot for that. So let's go to browser and refresh it. So you can see array because I already told you that this would convert a string into an array. So for in order to print that, we will use printr function. Printr and then name of the variable. Now go to browser again and upload the file. You can see at index zero there is logo which is the name of the file or which is the name of the image and second is PNG. So that means we need to check the last element of an array. So if, if you want to get the last element of array then you can use the end function. So I'll write f extension equal to end means get the last element of an array. Let's read about it end function this is the end function so you can see the end function moves the internal pointer to and outputs the last element in array means it will take the pointer to the last element means it will give you the the last element of array suppose there are five elements or six elements then it will return the last element of array so right now extension is the last element of an array let's print it out So you can see jpg so this is the extension which is in it is returning now guys we need to use one more thing that is string to lower function because uh, sometimes you will see the file extension as small jpg or capital jpg so if you will use the string to lower then it will be beneficial for you when you will write the condition when you will check the whether the file is equal to jpg otherwise you need to write something like if uh, i'll remove this echo if file extension equal to jpg if you will not use the string to lower function then you need to 
do something like this or file extension equal to jpg so if you don't want to repeat it uh, means write the small and capital again then you can use the string to lower function and then you can use this now now we can write our condition here so firstly you you can check the file extension if file extension is jpg or file extension equal to png or file extension is equal to gif means if it is say image file means uh, these are all the parts of image file all the extensions of image files so I'll move it, shift it Peter so it will be more readable so if this file is jpg png or gif then echo let's echo it right right file else please uh, upload uh -huh. jpg png or gif image only let's check it out go to browser refresh it and if you we will upload some other file like uh, menu.php please upload jpg png or gif image only so it is returning an error now guys after that we need to check the file size so after the if statement we will check the file size so again we write a statement so it will be a nested if so if the file size is greater than equal to means uh, you need to compare it now so if I want to check if it is say greater than 1 MB or not so if it is greater than 1 MB then you can upload file uh, or you can write max file size should be 1 MB okay now we will check the file size suppose if I'll uh, upload some big file I don't have so big files here I need to check it yeah it's a big file more than 1 MB so I'll upload it you can say max file size should be 1 MB means you can't upload the file which is more than 1 MB so in this way you can restrict otherwise if the file is small then we will upload the file so else echo upload it means we are uh, adding two conditions firstly it will check the jpg file extension then it will check the file size so now you can see upload it now we will write we will upload the file but here is one more thing I told you in previous tutorial that if we will upload the file with same name then it will override that file so in order to get rid of this problem we will create one more variable and we will give unique name to every file so I will give f create a new variable f file name equal to and you will we will use a function it's unique ID let's echo it out let's see what will happen so you can see it will every time it will uh, return a different uh, unique ID so you can check it here the unique ID function generates a unique ID based on micro time means every time when you will upload the image it will give it a new name so it is the file name and I need to concatenate it with the extension so and I will use the dot here and then after that concatenation operator then extension so guys now how it will work so it will give it uh, means suppose th uh, this is the old file name 
and it will give it a new file name then we are adding the extension to it now we will move the file so again I will write move uploaded file and it you know it will take two parameters if uploaded now we will go to browser and refresh it and now we will upload the file like this is the file print table coupons upload Oops. make move upload file exactly expect Oops. One th oops we need forgot to add the parameters here so first parameter will be the temp name and second parameter will be uh, because we need to write the name of where we want to store the file but we need to uh, write the new file name so what we will do this we will cut it from here we will paste it and instead of file name we will write the new file name so it will be store guys firstly we will upload the file then I will show you the, tell you that how it is working like if I will upload this printable coupons 11 upload upload it now we will go to uploads folder you can see it's uploaded with a new name and if I will upload this file again upload it you can see means uh, now you can upload the file as many as times you want you don't need to worry about that that file will be overwritten you can see now guys I will show you the working that how it is working firstly we have taken the extension we have compared it with jpg png or gif file then after that we have checked the file size and after that we have created a new file name with unique ID means it will give a unique number and we will concatenate the file extension with it because otherwise if, uh, if you will not concatenate the extension then it will not save it as a jpg png or uh, means it will not save it as a jpg file or png file so they will be just a number so we, that's why you need to concatenate the extension to it now this is the file name so you can see file name unique id dot extension now it's store and we are concatenating it to uploads means now it will be stored inside the uploads folder so guys this was about that how can you apply the conditions to the file upload in PHP guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial